You know, there's been a lot of talk uh, in the past. Even to this day, there's been a lot of talk about Ponytown and their Patreon and a lot of things like that where they must be greedy because they want your money. Blah, 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 blah. Well, uh, today I thought it would be a fun experiment to kind of go through uh, and, and just think deeply about a number of ways that Ponytown could monetize. Theoretically, if they wanted to monetize the game and make a lot of things hidden behind paywalls and stuff like that. So I hope you guys will enjoy this list. So let's go ahead and start with the number one thing on this list, which is custom poof effects. Obviously, whenever you're in the game, honestly, this would be a cool feature regardless if you had to pay for it or not. I actually love the idea, but basically a custom poof effect. Whenever you leave the game, whenever you switch characters or whenever uh, stuff like that happens, there's a poof effect that happens around you. It's kind of nice. It's interesting. I personally love it but this custom this this poof effect could be monetized in, in certain ways uh for example in games like rec room there are certain things where if you die you get like a custom effect around you from when you died or something like that or whenever you get a kill a custom effect happens on that person because you paid money to get this special feature so in theory they could have uh, options where if you switch characters poof, there's a lot of confetti instead of a smoke bomb or whatever or they could have it to where whenever you change characters it's more alike uh more similar to like the changelings whenever they change form it could be an effect like that or something like that so there's definitely ways that they could obviously implement those they could have it be in the character editor whenever you're in the editor and everything like that and you're uh, doing certain things it could be like a an account setting or something like that it could be any number of ways uh for them to put it in there but i think it'd be really interesting if they added it but in theory, this is something that they could use as a means of monetization. They could have you pay for these other custom poof effects. So keep that in mind next time you switch characters. So another thing, number two on this list is custom plushies uh, or just regular plushies in general or like the different toys and stuff like that that you can get on your head. Every single year around Christmas, they have the gift event. You go around, you pick up these gifts, you pick them up, you open them up and boom, you have a toy on your head and it's one of however many toys there are currently. Uh, they're, they're nice. There's a bunch of different ones, but in theory, they could just turn this into a monetization situation where you go to the main menu uh, on the home page or maybe on the characters tab or something like that and you're going through it or whatever like that and you see this list of like toys and like hats and things like that that you can purchase literally with real world money maybe 99 cents per piece or something like that this of course is another opportunity for them to monetize now uh will they ever do that i don't think they'll ever do that i don't think they'll ever do any of these monetization things but in theory they could if they wanted to and it is something that is technically possible even though i don't believe they would ever do that so yeah number three on this list is uh forced to pay to get to certain areas imagine going up to the caves and like you can't get into the caves at all or the mines or whatever you want to call it and you can't access that that area at all until you pay them like 199 or you pay them a monthly subscription or something like that that's actually kind of similar to what some uh, rpgs already do uh, the free to play ones that you see all over the place and that they, they're free or whatever but you have to pay a membership and then you get access to all these cool things or whatever that's technically something they, they, they could do here in Ponytown they could have a paywall behind the mines behind the bakery or whatever other building they add in the future uh, even paywalls behind you even getting access to your party island which would be absolutely insane so uh, number four, I kind of mentioned this briefly with number two, but purchasable customization options. Uh, imagine uh, going to add a certain hairstyle to your, your character or something like that and suddenly, boom, nope, you can't use this hairstyle unless you pay us $1.99 or like $3.99 or something like that, right? That would be ridiculous, but it is technically, again, another thing that they could add into the game, another monetization uh, section that they could add into the game. And I think it's ridiculous. Um, I don't think anything like that would ever happen. That's just crazy and bonkers but technically if they wanted to they could be like hey you want this hoodie boom pay us 99 cents or pay us two dollars or something crazy like that and then boom there you go you have a hoodie now so technically that's another way that they could monetize and let's move on to number five which is purchasable house items so or purchasable party island items and stuff like that imagine having uh stone uh just rocks like a special kind of rock maybe it's a gold rock or something like that and you want that gold rock really bad but you have to pay the game 5.99 or some crazy number like that to even have the item and even to be able to place it 
So they could have all kinds of wacky and interesting items like a disco ball, uh, a, a bar of gold, um, a bar of copper. Ooh, that's kind of crazy. Uh, different colored crystals or, uh, I don't know, like a, a pony statue and just all these different things like that. And they could just hide them behind a paywall. It could be like, hey, pay us uh, $9.99 and you get access to these 10 special items. It's, it can be like an item pack or something like that. So again, that's another way that they could technically monetize uh, in the game. Another way that they could technically get more money from you. But they're most likely never going to do that. So uh, let's move on to number six. Number six is actually to pay to get a new animal form, like a snake or uh, whatever else. A lot of people have wanted other animals in Ponytown for a while now. I see that all the time, every now and again. It'll be like, oh, I, I wish I could be like a jaguar, or I wish I could be a dog in the game, or I wish I could be a bear in the game, or whatever else, a lizard, a snake, etc., etc. So technically, if they wanted to, they could change the game a little bit and have it to where if you wanted to be a snake form rather than a pony form, you could pay them $3.99 or some crazy wacky number like that and poof you can be a snake now if you really wanted to uh, and you can customize that snake with other purchasable customization options and stuff like that so yeah those are just six random wacky ways that ponytown technically could monetize the game and technically make it worse for everyone so yeah if you have any other wacky ideas of how ponytown could monetize if they really wanted to um, obviously, I don't think they're ever going to use any of these. Um, it would be kind of neat to have some of these features in the game, obviously for free, but technically these are ways that they could monetize. Consider it Punny Town by EA or something like that if you really want to, but I, I had a little bit of fun putting this list together, this little hypothetical uh, monetized Punny Town. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and doing all of those wonderful things like that, because when you do wonderful things like that, not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this, but you also get to become wonderful yourself, and I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things, and until next time, stay wonderful.